All right, welcome to the KMC show. And we got live on the line, leading legal. And uh, I haven't uh, heard of you before, but uh, so t- first tell us what your podcast is about. Yeah, so Leading Legal is all about social media marketing for the legal industry, but I guess it applies across all platforms. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. All right, yeah. so social media. Um, so you deal daily with social media. Yeah, that's right. Actually, uh, I have a pod, another podcast called Process Server Daily, where I interview uh, process servers about their business in the legal industry and how they grow their business. Mm-hmm. And as a side effect from building that podcast, I learned all about um, social media and um, the wonderful world of social media. It's really the new marketing. Yes, um, Yeah. So, uh, KMC, tell me, tell me a little bit more about your show. I'm a little bit uh, mm-hmm. disadvantaged. Yeah, so right now the KMC show is is a variety show. Uh, it's uh, I would say infotainment. Um, I I talk a lot about sports. Well, when I first started sports show, I, that was really the only subject that I was comfortable talking about. Yeah. Um, but over the months, over the my anchor journey, uh, I'm getting more into other topics uh, like media. And, uh, and and politics and just everything now. Um, so that's why I tapped on social media and uh, see what, what people are thinking about. Well, that's awesome. And I'm glad you did because uh, it's, you know, let me just tell you the short story. Um, you know, yep. when it comes, when it comes to social media, <clears throat> people like to think that, um, you know, because they're different generational gaps that, you know, the youngsters right now are using uh, Snapchat, you know. Yes. The gener- mm-hmm. genera- generation above that is Twitter, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Generation, probably our generation, is Facebook. And, right. uh, and, and then as you go up, you get MySpace, right? <laughs> and that's so, still around? <laughs> it, it, that it still is. exists? <laughs> it does, yeah. We, no one uses it, but yeah, it does. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, but people like to think that just because those different, um, you know, platforms are using that they don't work together. They very, you, you can't do it ignorant of the different generations, right? But they do work together. And uh, a couple examples, you know, it, just one quick little tip um, mm-hmm. to help someone who might be listening to your podcast about social media. Um, yeah. Twitter and that's it's kind of my topic for the day is to Twitter Tuesday. Right. And um people so the best the best way I use Twitter is it's like a bunch of imagine a bunch of people standing in a large room and they're all just yelling. They're not really talking to each other. They all have something to say, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're they're not going to you don't go to Twitter for an intimate conversation with some you go to express your opinion and you do it often so ten times a day um, it's a great poll tool to use so let's say you wanted to see what was the best way to post this photograph with the person on the left or the person on the right you can post it both both and no one's going to even notice because if they have anything more than twenty or thirty people. Um, they're only going to maybe see one of your, one of your posts, but the idea is, is that you can poll people just by posting, you know, five versions of the same post and see which one gets the most likes. Um, oh yes, yep. Yeah, the other the other thing I use it for is um, uh, content, obviously, because people post anything and everything on there, and so I tend oh, to yes. find a lot of really good content. You do too. Um, how do I use Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, um, I just use Twitter right now to post jokes. <laughs> like, I, I watch sports, and uh, if I see something funny going on, uh, I, uh, I write a joke about it. Or Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah or I uh, just uh, throw my opinion out there on, usually it's sports topics, but I, I do talk about everything as well. Um, but 
I'm I'm finding uh, the Twitter verse is becoming more uh, political. And oh yeah, it, it, it it's not really as it, it's still a great platform, but um, what's going on at the White House is is definitely uh, trying to overshadow what's going on on Twitter. Uh, and uh, uh, I haven't used it as much as I used to. I would say, like before um, the political turmoil, I was tweeting maybe 10, 15 times a day. And now it's down to, uh, I would say, maybe once or twice a day, if that. Um, just because it, it's not it's not the place to be right now. I feel like the place to be on social media is Instagram. Um, I yeah. think a lot of people are migrating there, um, even though the, the Facebook troubles are, 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 are prevalent. But uh, Instagram, like people are getting paid to post. Um, the marketing is, is crazy over there. Lots of commercials and, and ads there. Um, so I, I, think, I think in the next couple of years, Instagram is going to be number one and, and, and supersede Facebook. What, what do you think about that? I I think you're you're on target for a couple of reasons. Um, yeah. So uh, we're very much uh, uh, what is it called um, impulsive. We're very we're we're becoming more and more impulsive. And so um, one one thing you notice just like the way that you use Instagram when you're mm-hmm. scrolling down. What do you how do you use Instagram? You look at it and you scroll and look at people's photos. Yeah. Right. You almost can't even. You almost can't even see the text text unless you uh, it actually blots out most of it unless you're interested and you click and it shows you the rest. Um, mm-hmm. And it's such an impulsive. And that's and isn't that how our youth is like most of the youth that are probably in their like 20s. I've noticed yeah. a lot of those, those guys. That's how they are. They're 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 more impulsive. And I, and I know that's a broad statement, but. Um, just as you go down, as the young, you, you go down to the youth, you know, I have teenagers, um, you know, that use Snapchat, it's the same thing. So yeah. I think everything is slowly moving towards the more impulsive, the more immediate gratification. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Definitely. It's like that word, yeah. you might have to read a more than 10 word, you know, more than 20 <laughs> words. <laughs> yeah, re- recently Twitter went up to 280. But uh-huh. uh, but but what I've noticed is not many people use that limit. It, it's very rare. People are yeah. still sticking sticking to the 140 or uh, very short messages, and yeah. and uh, because people really they don't want to read that much. Only if you're making yeah. a, a considerable point, then it makes sense. But uh, I'm finding uh, I I rarely go that 280. Um, so you're right, definitely right that, uh, people are looking for that instant gratification and, uh, it, it's, it's becoming more prevalent in media, um, on television as well. Uh, everything is, is shot like a music video and, uh, yes, um, I think the next big thing in social media will be similar to Instagram. Uh, I, I think face the Facebooks and the Twitter, um, they're still going to be big, but um, I, I think they're slowly withering. Like it, it, it's going to take some years, but um, Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, but you know what? Snapchat's kind of similar. Snap, uh, Instagram kind of stole some of their ideas and with the filter oh, yeah. and, and the story. And, and now Instagram is, is probably uh, bigger than Snapchat. Yeah, Instagram is actually uh, most of the users. What I've noticed is a lot of the users are very uh, they're very focused in, like they're very loyal to Instagram. And I'm like, they'll they'll even go as far as not having a Facebook account. It's like, you mm-hmm. know, I have a Facebook account. You know, that's what they tell me, and I'm like, really? But <laughs> you know, you have to have a Facebook account. No, all of my friends are on Instagram. And it's like, oh. Right that's when it really clicked with me that, that the generational gaps are real and that, um, you know, so like, if you wanted to, like, I don't know if you know, you know, Ty Lopez is. Ty Lopez. Yeah. He's down in, he's down in Southern California, but you know, he's, I don't know him. 
he's the one that I learned a lot about Snapchat from. He so he does his snaps, you know. He I always thought it was like so teenagers could send you know nude photos to each other, and you know, <laughs> right? Terrible, you know, something that they probably shouldn't be doing, but they're going to do anyway. And uh, but he he kind of taught me that no, actually, you're just it could be you just want to talk to that generation. And uh, he gives away free iPhones and things like this. And, and he's got millions and millions of uh, followers on Snapchat because he gives away free, free stuff every day. I mean, he's giving away cars. And so it's, you know, and the whole idea is that he can sell his programs, you know, his social media marketing program and, Mm -hmm. you know, different things like that. So, so so, wait, so Tyler Lopez, he's getting paid to, to, to post on Snapchat. No. Well, he is because he's selling his programs, right? I mean, he goes on there and he's Snapchat's not paying him, but he's definitely no. getting paid because he created his programs and then uh, you know, he goes on there and he he's basically a lifestyle entrepreneur, you know. You watch him, right. oh, he was in a mansion down in you know, he's got a few houses, one's in um um whatever, Hollywood. And mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, it's a cool thing. I mean, the kids, you know, they yeah. want to they instant gratification again, you know, they want to be able to get something for not having to put too much effort in. Right. Right. You can afford a $700 course. Well then, you know, they're going to mm. do for it. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it, it's just amazing. Um, it feels like because of social media, fame is so easy to acquire. Um because of the internet and social media, like before you had to work really hard to gain followers uh, Mm -hmm. on social media, but now it it just seems easier than ever before. It must be a marketer's dream. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like I was born to market and, and, but I got started late, you know, I got Mm -hmm. started late when I was 30. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I got 800 followers or whatever that are all pretty much, I think over half of them are, engaged and active in, in the legal industry. Um, right. I just created this leading legal podcast because I realized that uh, it ca- social media kind of needed its own, um, its own podcast regarding uh, in the legal industry. And so um, I'm excited for social media, where it's going to go. Uh, is, is Facebook going to fizzle out? I, I don't think so. Only because mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. generational thing again. Right. Right. That, that's, yes. that's our problem. <laughs> they 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 have the the forty plus people. They're locked in, and uh, they're there's not they're not going anywhere. Yeah, they got nowhere else to go. They they yeah. don't want to go to Snapchat and have to, you know, create a video that's going to disappear and feel like what they worked for is gone forever. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think Facebook is in trouble with these? these privacy scandal that's going on? Um, I know. I, I don't think so. I think that, you know, we have privacy breaches all the time and, yeah. um, you know, being in the legal industry, I've actually, I'm, I've actually taken part in that because I, uh, we do skip traces. And one of the things we do is we've, we've used as a tool for a long time is Facebook. You know, you search mm-hmm. their phone number in Facebook and you can find anybody and uh, right. they yeah. took that away when all this stuff happened, they took that ability away and we were all like, Whoa, what happened? And it's kind of funny. <laughs> They've been sharing that information this whole time. Um, people's, you know, people's information this whole time. And so it's, I don't think that they're going to be in any trouble. There's data breaches all the time. They're going to lose a buttload of money. Yeah, uh, but- I think so. But I mean, he's talking about giving away, you know, forty-six uh, million dollars to his daughter for whatever charity she wants to give it to when she gets older, and this kind of stuff. They got money to burn, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we're almost out of time. Uh, thanks so much uh, for this. Uh, it was really informative. Um, yeah, so hopefully, maybe we could do this again sometime, maybe in a couple of weeks or whatever. Uh, but th- yeah, thanks for joining. No problem. You can visit us at leading legal, leading dot legal. All right, thanks. Yeah.
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.